Speaker, and uh, my question is to the Premier. Good morning, Premier. It's good to see you here. Yesterday, the Minister of Education said he was tabling Bill 28 because it was in the best interest of students. Let me say, Mr. Speaker, that's pretty rich, coming from a government that has shown time and time again how little they actually care for our kids and our students. They've underfunded our schools, they've increased class sizes, they forced kids into online classes, and they kept kids out of classrooms longer than any other jurisdiction. Speaker, that is not the behaviour of a government that cares about kids, and neither is Bill 28. Order. Will the Premier stop this? roll up his sleeves and work with education workers to invest in our students. To reply, members of Prince Center seats. And to reply, the Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, we're making sure that the students stay in class. I'm going to repeat that. They're going to stay in class. We want parents to know that we're doing everything we can to make sure students don't miss one single day in class. We've been at the table and we put a very fair offer and the union continues to charge ahead with a strike action that would affect this province this Friday. That means there'd be two million students sitting at home. Probably a million parents would be taking work off, Mr. Speaker. I want to be clear. We will never ever waver from our position that students remain in the class, catching up with their learning, surrounded by friends with a full school experience, including extracurricular activities. Speaker, well, it's, it's good to hear the Premier finally get allowed to speak uh, by his government there. I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, Friday. Kids are going to be out of school in many parts of this province because your government is going to disrupt that. Order. Ontarians want to know why this government premier side come is order. not standing up for the custodians and the maintenance workers government who are side keeping come our order. schools clean and safe, or the educational assistants supporting our students with special needs, or the ECEs that are teaching our littlest kids. Speaker, this government, they have all the power and the privilege. All these workers have is their union and their right to bargain collectively. It is not too late. Fix the mess you're making today. Order. Will the Premier speak up and stop this bill? Yeah, yeah. I the members to make their comments to the Chair. The Premier. M Mr. Speaker, there's only one party in this chamber that is standing up for students and parents, and that's the PC party. The Liberals, Mr. Speaker, the Liberals and NDP, they want to make sure they stand up for the heads of the Order. union. Mr. Speaker, our party differentiates between Labour and Labour leadership. We support the frontline Labour folks. Mr. Speaker, we support, we, we support the fact that the frontline folks get 131 days. We're okay with that, of sick days. But what we don't support is the unreasonable request from QP leadership that they demand a nearly 50 per cent increase. A 50 per cent increase. Mr. Speaker, the union refuses to withdraw their strike notice even after we put forward a very generous offer. We've already Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The final supplementary. Speaker, this government, and back to the Premier, this government is violating the rights of 55,000 Ontario workers, and those workers are parents too. Newsflash. Bill 28 is going to hurt them, and it's going to hurt their families. There is no notwithstanding clause for workers who can't afford to pay their bills. The Premier is forcing these workers to accept a shameful deal while they starve our classrooms and they're sitting on billions of education dollars at the same time. And you know the irony, Mr. Speaker, the irony is that this bill, this government, is going to force the education workers out. That's what's going to do it. This bill is going to close our schools. This bill right here. Will the Premier Stop coming after workers. Tear up this terrible bill. 
and Order. return to the bargaining table today. The Premier. Mr. Speaker, I ask the opposition, stop attacking and going after our students, stop going after our parents, stop going after the two million students that want to be in the classroom, Mr. Speaker. They talk about 54,000 workers. Order. We're talking over a million parents that would take work off because you want to feather the nest of the heads of the union. That's unacceptable. We want to take care of the frontline, hardworking, educational workers, and we'll Opposition always have their backs. But you know something? We, we are going to be the nest of the head of the QP. Again, we differentiate between labour and labour leadership. They, I think the labour needs to find new labour leadership. I realize members care passionately and deeply about this issue. But I need to be able to hear the member who has the floor. And I'll ask the House to come to order. Start the clock. The next question.